Between the pandemic, vaccine mandates, worker shortages, and rising fuel costs, it's been a tough two years for the Washington State Ferries. It's also been tough on people who rely on them every single day. And even if you don't take the ferry, the service has a major impact on our area. For example, the Edmonds Kingston Ferry represents an added economic impact of $62 million in annual spending, 955 commuter and local jobs, and $61 million worth of annual labor income. The ferries have reduced the number of sailings over the last six months because of crew shortages. Fox 13's Matt Markovich reports how the ferries are pushing for a culture change in the maritime industry as a fix. This is not a bridge of a Washington State ferry. It sure does look like one because it's a simulator. But this is where they train the captains. But what the ferry system really needs are those people down below deck. But I know nothing about um, engines and how engines work, and it sparked me to come here. Ben is halfway through a year-long training program at Ballard's Maritime Academy. It would a bucket work? To be a ship's engineer. I actually got into this because my uncle um, is a commercial fisherman, and I've been commercial fishing for 10 years. And that's an issue. For the longest time, Maritime relied on my dad sailed, my uncle sailed. That doesn't work anymore. Look no further than the crew shortage at the ferry system. Would you have liked to have had something like this if you were training? Absolutely. When Jim went to the academy 20 years ago, they did not have these high-tech simulators they have now, like the one that actually replicates the room he operates from as a ferry boat's chief engineer. I found this industry. The industry never came looking for me. This quarter, uh, in the advanced diesels class. And that's what the academy and the ferry system, a big donor to the school, want to change, a shift to actively recruit people into the industry. We're beginning to see some of that, but that's a massive cultural shift for the maritime industry. As a result, the ferry system is not operating normally. It is entirely based on crewing. We don't have enough, enough people to run the boats. The ferries let go of 140 out of 1,800 staffers who did not get vaccinated under the state worker mandate. Unclear how many were crew. And the legislature does not allow incentive hiring bonuses to become a state worker. The ferry system has prioritized the runs in this order for a return to normal service only the San Juan runs are operating normally. Everybody else, where there are normally two boats, there is one. Our biggest route traditionally, which is Seattle Bainbridge, we're trialing that right now. And once we can get kind of three weeks of two boat service, which would be normal for that route, uh, we'll make that permanent. And it's going to be some time before the ferry system returns those two boat services on those two boat lines. And not all of that will happen by the summer. In Seattle, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.